It's um, located in the southeast of England, just north of Gatwick. And perhaps, you know, the game-changing part of it really is what lies underneath, and that's a very thick sequence of oil bearing shales and limestones that uh, we sort of call tight oil. We're dealing with quite a, a pervasive type of deposit over our area. I know that's 55 square miles, but I think more importantly, you know, these deposits extend over 1,200 square miles or more of the weald. So if we can put a, a commercial development together, then clearly, you know, you can have incremental step outs over quite a large area. This type of oil deposit very much depends on being able to drill your wells almost back to back so it becomes very much like um, an industrialized process because that's how you get the improvements in costs and efficiencies. The flow at the start of the year when you put the well on compared to the flow at the end of that year can decline by 60 or 70 percent or so. So generally you have to drill a lot of wells close to each other so you can maintain a certain level of production. Potential to actually increase the flow rate using uh, horizontal and stimulation is, is very considerable. I mean we definitely come back to this well. We want to put it on to a much longer term production test. The, the biggest issue we have in fact the whole of the industry has in the, U in the UK onshore is the time it takes to get permissions to do anything. Um, hopefully we're, we're, we're meeting with the government fairly shortly in the, ne in, in the coming weeks to, on, a, on a quite a high level to see if we can try and fast track this process.